Hey guys, this is Rob from ChainsawGuitarTuition.net and today we're going to be talking about improving your guitar fitness. So we're going to start this series with something that if you're into your exercises and you've been practicing for a while, you probably already know, but I'm going to go over it anyway because no series on exercises would be complete without this one. I'm of course talking about the spider exercise. I will probably do a more advanced video on the spider because it's such a good exercise, but I still use the basic one to practice my own technique sometimes, so it's definitely one worth getting down properly. So, as I said guys, a really straightforward exercise, but it really helps. So we're gonna start somewhere on the neck that's comfortable, and I recommend you do start somewhere that's comfortable. And by comfortable, I mean you need to be able to do this. One, two, three, four. Okay, one finger per fret. And what you need to do is just go fret nine, keep your finger down from fret nine. Fret 10, keep your finger down. Fret 11, keep your finger down. And fret 12, until you get to that. That is the, like exercise A, part A. I'm playing this with alternate picking. But bear in mind, this exercise can be played with hammer-ons or pull-offs if we're doing the opposite. And then move your first finger across to the ninth on the A, then your second finger across to the tenth on the A, and your third finger across to the eleventh on the A, and then finally your little finger across to the twelfth on the A. So do this. And this is being really strict. Actually, this is more than you need. When you speed this up, it's probably not gonna be this perfect. But we're practicing this slow, so you program it into your hands and you've got the good technique there, so that when you take it too fast, you're not gonna completely fall apart. And then, same thing for the next string. And the next. Until you reach the thin E string, so the 12th fret. The next step to this is to come back down, descending. For this, we're gonna go pinky first, and then lift off, 11th fret, lift off, 10th fret, lift off, 9th fret, and then across to the next string. So all the fingers have gone across there. 12, 11, 10, 9 again. 12, 11, 10, 9, etc. Once you're comfortable with that position, start moving it down the neck towards the head. So I've done the ninth position there. Then you want to do eighth. Seventh, sixth, etc. Until you can get right down to the first fret. So far, we've done fingers one, two, three, four. In that order. And then coming back down, four, three, two, one. I definitely recommend doing this with more than that kind of combination. If you go to my website, there is a PDF download that is basically a little book on all the different variations. So you've got obviously one, two, three, four, one, three, two, four, one, three, four, two, etc. both in going up and down. Go to my website, the link in the description, and uh, you can download that for absolutely free. The most common problems that will arise with this technique are First of all, flying fingers, so you're doing this. The second problem people come across, especially when trying to do this at high speed, is that the picking and fretting hands aren't lining up with each other. So I might do two of these notes, and then hammer on. And this is actually more common than you would think, especially if you're going really, really fast. The way to avoid it, the way to fix this, is to go really slow with a metronome. Check out my metronomes video if um, you want more information about how to do that effectively. And the third thing you wanna be looking out for is the hand swivel. So you start off like this, and then as you go across the neck, your hand is swiveled round, and normally your thumb would have coming up here as well. This is very, very common, especially in beginners. So you want to keep your hand the same. So my hand's constantly across this way as I'm going. I'm moving across like this. 
This is the action, okay? My fingers are moving up and down and my hand is doing this. So full tab to this along with variations on the website linked below, that's absolutely free. If you go to my website, you can also ask me about one-to-one -one lessons. And if you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. As Rob from Trenton Tartans Connect, this week we're going to be doing this. Do you see my video on Tartans Tapping? Um, I've got a few videos on that, just a quick technique down, because if you're not happy with doing something like this, this more advanced stuff is going to be from So, um, 